So now that we have the projector and the screen installed, it's time to put in the sound. And the sound really brings the emotion, uh, it brings the true cinema effect to your home. And the speaker company that I think is the best value on the market today is Yamo, Yamo by Klipsch. Uh, Yamo has been extremely aggressive uh, price point wise, performance wise. There is no better value on the market today than the Yamo 426, which is what I'm putting in my personal bat cave today. Uh, these speakers uh, outperform anything that I've had my hands on for one and a half to two times the value. Uh, they sound amazing. So this is the Yamo Sub 250. Uh, this is the sub that will come standard with all of the packages that uh, we feature. Uh, this sub is extremely powerful and it's, it's a professional grade sub. Uh, there's a few things about this sub that if uh, those of you who have bought in home theater in a box, uh, there's a few things about hooking this sub up that are a little different that you should know about. Let's turn this around and take a look at it. Uh, firstly, uh, so when you get like a home theater in the box, you're used to a sub that will just have a line in uh, and, and maybe some adjustments. Uh, so this has speaker levelers, which we're not going to worry about. Okay, what we're going to talk about are these, you got your left line out and your right line out and uh, your, your two lines in. So if you're just hooking up one sub, you just want to go ahead and plug it into the left line out. That is the default uh, plug. So just go ahead and plug into the, uh, the left line in. So with all of the affordable home cinema packages, uh, we, we feature the Denon receivers. Uh, in the Deluxe 310 package, it comes standard with the Denon AVR 1612. The only upgrade I've made to this package is the receiver. I've upgraded to the Denon AVR 2312. And so that just means in the future, when I can, I can add two more channels to the rear and another sub. Uh, all of the Denon receivers are 3D ready. Uh, so they're absolutely compatible with any 3D Blu-ray players. So now we're about an hour and a half to two hours into this project and almost everything's ready to go. Uh, we're getting to the exciting part here where we're going to be able to play with the new toys. Uh, there's something I want to cover. Uh, the PS3, a lot of people are using uh, to, as their primary uh, media device to play their Blu-ray discs, their 3D media. Something I want to cover real quick. Uh, for 3D on the PS3, for whatever reason, you're going to have to have your projector or, or any display device for that matter connected directly into the PS3 uh, via HDMI. And then you're going to have to have an audio uh, cable connected to your receiver from the PS3. Now you're going to want to go into the settings menu on the PS3 and make sure that it is configured to send the 3D signal through HDMI and you're going to want to make sure all of the uh, video signals are sent through the HDMI. And then after that is complete you want to make sure all of the audio is going to be able to be sent out through the cable. 